Hello, I'm uh, Mary Ann Fitzcharles. I'm a clinical rheumatologist based at McGill University in Montreal in Canada. And at this ACR meeting uh, in San Diego, uh, 2013, I was invited to present um, to the ACR membership an update on medical marijuana in the management of patients with rheumatic conditions. I'm going to give you a short summary of uh, where we stand today with regard to the use of herbal cannabis in rheumatic conditions. Um, the first point is that our patients are using herbal cannabis for relief of symptoms. The second point is that unfortunately we have no good evidence for either efficacy or for risks in patients with rheumatic diseases. So herbal cannabis is what is derived from the plant, which is cannabis sativa, and the dried leaves and flowers of this plant constitute medical marijuana. And marijuana is made up of probably more than 400 different molecules. So we have no single study examining the use of herbal cannabis in rheumatic conditions. Therefore, our evidence for either efficacy or side effects has to be derived from studies perhaps using other molecules, but not the herbal product. Um, we have very limited studies. There are some indications of some impact upon pain, perhaps sleep, and perhaps also a relaxation effect. What is most concerning, however, is the uh, uh, are really the risks that might be associated with the use of herbal cannabis. So risks can be divided into the acute and the chronic risks. The acute risks clearly are impact upon cognition. Now I would like to emphasize to you that uh, when we are managing patients with rheumatic diseases, we would like symptoms to be reduced. However, our patients must maintain function. Now, when you've used acute cannabis, um, there is impact and reduction in cognitive function as well as psychomotor function for up to five hours following acute use. Now, how does this translate into the real world? Well, in the real world, we drive motor vehicles and our reaction time is reduced following acute cannabis use. So we really have concerns about function in our patients. Uh, there are concerns about chronic use of cannabis use and uh, this is particularly pertinent to um, the development of the progression of psychological disease. Um, there has been a lot of debate as to whether cannabis can be a factor in depression and to date current evidence indicates that in recreational users there is a 1.4 times greater rate of depression in users compared to non-users. So impact upon psychological health. Now, most of our patients that are using herbal cannabis smoke this agent. And we have concerns about smoking herbal cannabis. Um, there is increased chronic respiratory inflammatory disease. But more recently, there is increasing evidence of a risk of lung cancer. So we know our patients absolutely are using herbal cannabis. We do not have the good solid evidence for effect. We do not have evidence for risks in our patients. So what advice could we perhaps give to our rheumatology colleagues regarding uh, use? Firstly, we should be extremely cautious about any use in younger people. We have to be cognizant of the acute effects related to herbal cannabis use, particularly with regard to reaction time, psychomotor function. Um, we have to be concerned about persons who have a background of some depression or anxiety regarding exacerbation. And finally, I think at this point, we would strongly recommend that herbal cannabis should not be smoked. Um, this is not a very good message. However, we know the cannabinoid system is really very important in health and disease. So we should really advocate for additional research into the pharmacologic products that can be very carefully 
measured, where we can have good pharmacokinetic studies, pharmacodynamic studies that can tell us the dose, the uh, examine the effects, examine the risks. Thank you.